Phoenix Worlds 2019. I've seen the 2021. Did I? Legends Never Die? And it did not disappoint. So I'm hoping this one is as good as that one. Let's go with Phoenix. Oh, they've got real people in this one. All right. That is so Vegeta Goku. Oh, so that's Faker. It's got, it's very the purgey, you know, with the smile and the, it's very the purge. I like it. And that stuff that's growing, I'll say it in a second, it's very, um, what's that anime called? Guilty Crown. Oh my god, I'm loving the energy balls. So Dragon Ball Z, I love it. Every single music video comes with its own different art style, and I don't know which one I like the most. They're all different. They all have these little references to something that I like. It's probably a reference to something else to what I'm actually thinking of, but I, I just associate it with the closest thing I know to it. The music song is always, it's always pumping. It's always pumping and always ends up on my mobile playlist on Spotify that I keep listening to whenever I'm going somewhere or driving somewhere. So you know it's good. The music selection is top notch. Um, I only recognized one of those people and then I realized that they're actual players. So I only recognized him because he had his name on the back of the jacket and he was wearing the glasses. And, and I love that. Like I personally would go for contacts if I needed glasses. But I guess, you know, there's a certain, you know, there's a certain thing to it. If you're wearing glasses, people think you're smarter. So I guess you could always go for that. Um, the only thing I do know about Faker is that he's a competitive player, and I think that he mains Ari. Um, I heard that a few times. I remember hearing that when I was competing in a university tournament when I used to play like one or two day, uh, games a day, you know, for shits and giggles when I was living at uni and I competed. I always mained Ari. And uh, a lot of the people in the university tournaments were actually like diamond ranked. You know, there were competitive players in Australia. And I wasn't. I was just, you know, like, 
I was, I was, what was that? I was probably like silver division or something like that. But I could play Ari really well. So, you know, these diamond players were like a full diamond team. I think one or two of them were platinum. I'm not really sure. And, you know, I just ended up being Ari mid because, you know, they didn't know what I played. And so I ended up winning mid and we won the first game. And they were like... What the fuck? And so the first thing they did was like, Ben Ari, Ben Ari, Ben Ari. And I was like, ah, shit. All right, that's the only character I know how to play. And one of my teammates is like, uh, play Thresh. And I'm like, I've never played support before. And they're like, you'll be fine. Ari Q is Thresh Q. All you gotta do is land the hook. And I'm like, okay, so what do I do when I land? It's like, press Q again. And so basically I was playing support as Thresh, right? And then I got the Q. And what happened before the game even started? They got really cocky because they knew like I have no idea what I'm doing. And I ended up hooking with Thresh. So we ended up getting a kill before even the game started. And so they just lost their shit. I think we ended up, I, we either won or tied the second game. It was best out of three. So I think they might have actually won the second game, even though I was playing support so what they ended up doing the next game was they banned thresh they banned like they were literally locking me out because like, i don't have that many characters so i ended up playing what was the name uh soraka or something you know the one that throws the bananas and so i ended up playing her because again it was another directional attack we obviously ended up losing the best out of three because like you know they, they were like the best ones i think they were playing competitively in australia or something one of them actually now works for riot games as uh, one of the lead commentators so you know they were really good at what they do but it was just so funny that just just like we were just randoms right i never met the other four people in this team it was just like four other people that just so happened to play league of legends i honestly just signed up for the shits and giggles right it was a league of legends tournament amongst the universities and i just signed up for the shits and giggles because i wanted a free um skin right you get a free skin if you make it i think it was in the top five teams or something so we ended up getting it i ended up getting like a free skin and some riot points and stuff like that and i ended up spending all the riot points on buying iris skins anyway so like i got my money's worth um and these guys are obviously competitive players that would you know playing competitively the, the, the like the final was a team that was like platinum diamond rank whatever the f it's called and another team that was very similar so it was basically like a competitive match out between probably the two best teams in australia to begin with and there were just a bunch of random five guys that just met on a facebook group going hey anyone else you know want to join the team for this tournament so <laughs> how did i get to that thing but it was just just yeah it was just oh you, good memories I pretty much forgot about that until I watched this. So that's what I get out of these uh, cinematics and music videos. I, I remember these little things. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. No, I would have totally forgot about that. I honestly forgot about that. And that's it, it's one of those little gem moments, you know, that you should really find interesting. It's one of those stories that's really interesting that you forget about. And then when you remember it, it just brings a smile to your face. Uh, shits and giggles when Kuma actually competed in a League of Legends tournament and didn't suck. I absolutely suck now. Like, I'm I'm by no means good at the game. I may be good at two, three characters because that's all I play. Um, I When I started playing, I was playing Ash, And because I played Ash, and that was all I played, I got really good at Ash, And I could effectively snipe with her ultimate across the map. I, I didn't have to... You know, I could be at the bottom lane and I could snipe and get a kill at the top lane while the enemy is running away. I, I can't do that now. And then I started playing mid, you know, Ari like crazy and so I got really good at Ari. Um, so it's just one of those things. It brings a smile to my face. I do play occasionally now, every now and then. I got a little bit back into it. Um, I don't play like uh, normal games. I always play ranked just because I hope to find people that play a little more seriously and are less likely to log off and are less likely to throw the game. It still occasionally does happen. It does frustrate me a little bit, but I do it for the shits and giggles. And whenever I do it, I'm on the Discord, on the voice channel, just chatting with random people in the Discord. So by no means am I pushing you know, ranking or anything like that. I'm just trying to get, you know, grouped up with people that are, tr you know, taking it semi-seriously. Um, I I'd prefer that to anything else. By no means am I good. So if you want to join me for that, you know, League of Legends and chill session, just make sure to pop over to the Discord. The link is in the description. Um, and I'll see you guys there. Thanks for listening to my rant. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was just it was just a memory that came out of nowhere that brings a smile to my face uh, i'm probably gonna reach out to the guys that i played with I, st I i think i added them to facebook and we still have that group somewhere i wasn't that active in it but it's a really nice memory it was a couple of years ago um but it's a really nice memory i think we came like fourth or third in that tournament or something which is really surprising considering the people that were there um but we sort of did well you know all things considered 
and the fact that we never played before together. We like we did really well. So um, yeah, I'm gonna reach out to those guys. So thank you for that. Thank you for react uh, requesting these cutscenes and cinematics. They they're getting really good. I'm really enjoying them. So if there's any more you would really like me to see and react to, please type the name below. Uh, don't bother with the link. It keeps getting blocked because people think it's spam. YouTube thinks it's spam. Just give me the name of the video and uh, I'll look it up and I'll react to it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope my story was interesting. Uh, until next time, did you come out? Bye. Hey, did I hand you a shrinking potion by accident? I could have sworn that was the gender swapping one. Don't be hating. She's fun sized, that's all. She doesn't even have to get on her knees to blow. You want to add anything to that conversation? Nope, I'm good. In fact, I think your new size makes you an even more formidable and stealthy ninja.